Hello and welcome back everybody to grade 7 technical requirements for piano. This is, I believe, video number 3. Um, behind there is grade 8, so hopefully we'll get there uh, soon. Let's do grade 7. We left off on G sharp minor melodic, which I did not do a very good job of explaining, so let me re-explain that to you. It is one of the harder scales because of the fingering changes that happen on the way down. So harmonic always stays the same going up and down. Melodic changes notes on the way down. So that changed the fingering of the left hand. So like before, if you have trouble with fingering, the best way to kind of build muscle memory for it is if you do pattern work. My favorite type of pattern work is long short. I think it's the more simple version. I know some people like to group them in triplets or quadruplets or doublets, but that's confusing for me. So we are gonna do that again and we'll re review it in the books. So let's look. Okay, G sharp minor melodic. So let me show you the fingering again. So the right hand fingering actually stays consistent throughout the entire thing. So you don't have to worry about that one too much. But the left hand fingering does change and that's why it's kind of nice to have the book to kind of follow the fingering. Um, I did a lot of it instinctively because I've been playing piano for a really long time and I kind of know what the fingers should be even if I don't follow the book. Sometimes I make mistakes, just like anyone who is rest here out of practice. So hopefully you guys, if you're doing an exam or anything, practice hard. Um, and if you forget it, that's fine. Just take your time, do it slow. So group of three, group of four, group of three, group of four, which is why it ends on finger one. You finish, which is two, and then three. So two, three is a weird finish, but that's there. But the next group is group of one, two, three. You see how that finger does not have a number? But if you count them, this became your group of three. Officially, that means this was a group of four. So this is group of three. And you see here, the C sharp is no longer a finger four. So this is group of three. This is your group of four. That's your group of three. And that's technically your group of four. I know it says finger three there, but that's just because it doesn't have that remaining note that's left over. Okay, so let's start back at the keyboard. G sharp minor, melodic. One, two, three, group of four. Group of four. Group of three, group of four. And this would have been your group of four if you needed to continue more octaves, but we don't. So we can stop there, hooray. No further than that, let's do that again. sharp minor melodic so like I said I cannot guarantee that I can do this correctly hands together I have not practiced this in a really long time but we can try and the best way to do it is to do long short I would recommend if you haven't practiced it in a while if it's new to you to do the long short separately first so long short long short long short long short long got a little confused there right? Because if you don't practice it, it is definitely always going to be ever so slightly confusing. Um, and we'll do it again, but now long short hands together. Sorry if my stick wobbles. And that is hands together. So long short hands together is actually a little bit easier for me because this is a guiding hand the groups actually kind of group together but um if you do it long short and you're struggling just go slowly uh, and then once you're comfortable with it you can go normal but hands together A 
messed up the fingering over here. You probably didn't catch it though, but that is not correct the way I did it. Um, but the notes are there. And that's, I think, the most important part for you for now until you get into four octave scales. So hopefully by the time we get into the grade eight book, I will have fixed that problem if I practice. I hope you guys practice. Okay, so moving on. The next one is on the book. Let's take a quick look. Is G flat major. G flat major has so, so, so many flats. All of them are flat except one key. So let's see if we can figure out which one. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat. What's missing is F flat. So F is the only white key. Now that's kind of uh, tricky because technically C flat is a white key as well. well. Let's take a look. Here's C, here's C flat. Confusing, right? But actually it is what we've already been doing. White key here, white key here, F natural, C flat. Um, so G flat major, group of four, group of three. I actually love G flat major. <laughs> because your groups are very, very obvious if you know what you're looking for. So like C major, actually, that's all it is. C major. But you just have to remember that these two white keys hug these three black keys. Sorry, a little bit messy, a little stop and go, but without practice, that's unfortunately just the way your scales are going to go. If you want to practice and get them smoother, practice slow, practice steady, practice the rhythm pattern, long, short. Okay, here is the left hand. So the left hand is kind of different in that it's not the same as your C major pattern, but this is your group of four because of the black keys. They are more comfortable playing on these fingers rather than your finger one, so you wanna keep your finger one on a white key. So here is group of four. This is group of three. This is your group of three. This is your group of four. So I said I like G flat major. It doesn't mean I can play it well. I just like G flat major because when you do it hands together, these three black keys are these three fingers, and that makes things a little bit easier. Same as these ones. These are your two fingers, which makes things a little bit easier. So we do it hands together. That one was a little bit easier for me because the fingers don't change and is a little bit more straightforward. Um, just remember those two white keys are totally hugging these three black keys. Okay, so that's G flat major. So related to G flat major, the last scale that you have to do is G flat minor, or in the book, of course, it's called F sharp minor, a much more common scale. F sharp minor, if we look at the book, is related to da 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 a scale with three black keys um, that happens to be A major, a lot of theory if you don't know it, but you can just read it. F sharp, G sharp, A natural, B natural, C sharp, D natural, E sharp, F sharp again. Okay, I hope I read that correctly because I just read that off the top of my head. But let's do it again. F sharp, G sharp, A, B, our natural. C sharp, D is not sharp. That's because that's the sixth note. I got a little confused there because like I said, I learned my scales based on the pattern of three versus six. They go down. Um, so G flat major was one, two, three, four, five, six. So six goes down. Okay, so one, two, three goes down. Six goes down. The F was originally hugging the three black keys, still hugging it, very close. Okay, so let's talk about fingering. You can follow the book. The book makes life easier if you follow the fingering there, but it's always groups of three, groups of four, so let's figure out which one's which. Huh, 
That's interesting. I guess you have options for this one. But this is group of three. This is your group of four. Um, so don't change this weird because technically this is your group of four because of the fact that these are two black keys and these are two white keys and that makes life a little bit easier if you make this one your group of three. Group of three. Okay. And that's F sharp minor harmonic. Okay. So melodic is the same notes, of course. And this is actually super comfortable. As you can see, this is definitely your group of four to start. This is your group of three. Oops. So you saw my fingers flip totally to the wrong note. That's like I said, because this hand does not get very much practice. Um, so if you practice it, your hands will go where they want, where you want them to. I knew where I wanted to go, but they totally betrayed me. Ah, oh, so sad. Let's try that again. Group of four, group of three, group of four, group of three. Sorry, I should go down. Group of three, group of four. And that's F sharp minor mel harmonic almost said the wrong one okay so hands together again like i said out of practice good luck to me we will see if i can do this all right fingering was okay not too bad on that one okay so that is f sharp minor harmonic Okay, the last one on the list, so excited to be done. Scales are the, this is the last one of the category. So here, if we take a look at F sharp, minor, melodic, on the way up, sharps galore, on the way down, natural signs, they cancel them back out. Um, we can read it if you want, but I'll go back and compare it to your G flat major. Okay, so G flat major was... <laughs> hugging the black keys. F sharp minor, one note changes there. On the way up, it's the same. On the way down, this note goes down, and this note goes down as well. Sorry, let's do that again, I'm so sorry. So I had forgotten that this one was already black, so these two were the notes and this is what it becomes on the way back down. Or it just becomes back like the relative major, A major. Or it goes back to being F sharp minor, the natural form, basically following the key signature, which is these two black keys and this one black key, and then the rest are white. But I got a little mixed up, so let's try again. So compared to G flat major, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down, down, and that is F sharp minor melodic. Forgot the name of the scale for a second there. Okay, so one, this is your group of th four, this is your group of three. Let's do the left hand. So originally here, now there. Easier to play without talking. Okay, sorry, let's go through those groups again. Group of four, group of three, group of four, on the way down, still your group of three, still your group of four, still your group of three, still your group of four. Okay, so good luck me who has not played this scale in forever. We're gonna try hands together. Um, so let's give it a go. Okay. 
that is the final skill yes the whole category is complete thank you so much for watching listening and watching me suffer as well skills are not fun but you know what if you know the patterns they help you learn your songs so much better and i hope one day you'll learn to have a little bit more fun with them like me sometimes if you can't play anything else scales are your go-to okay let's stop the video for now see you next time